The Maverick Spirit Sculpture has been a great addition to the Kohler community, along with Kohler Company and all its visitors. We've got people from all over the world and people from next door that are coming and, and meeting out at the sculpture. Some fantastic feedback of how awesome and unique it is. It's truly one of a kind and everyone here really appreciates that. The idea of this sculpture moving and being in a kinetic kind of a continuous motion is the idea that time is continuous and it builds on itself. My name is Cameron Streff. I'm an engineer and project manager at the Kohler Company. My role in this project was the project manager. My name is Mary Reed. In 1983, I came to Kohler as an entry-level industrial designer and it's been um, a great uh, run of 33 years when then I retired in 2016. I was DP of industrial design. The goal for the Maverick Spirit Sculpture was to capture the spirit and essence of Mr. Kohler. He was always one that was big about preservation as a civil engineer. We'd always have to get approval to you know, cut down trees because he cared so deeply about the preservation of, of nature. So we tried to encompass that spirit in the preserve here, making sure that future generations can enjoy not only the land, but um, the beautiful sculpture that Creative Machines helped put together. The sculpture itself does the best job of encompassing who he was. The progression from chaos to basically Normalcy or in sync is, is a good way to um, describe the way he would tackle ideas that start out maybe a little bit on the chaotic side, but eventually they would come together and mesh real nicely and turn into this beautiful project. I had a personal interest in the idea of time, and time is a continuum, but oftentimes you can think of it as a, a circle. And as it changes because it never stops, it can be seen as an upward spiral. So as I was building on this idea, I thought, well, you know, for each year, a blade, and when you stack those blades then, and it starts to turn into a spiral, what are the shapes of the blade? And it was sort of a building on the idea of this flowing, beautiful spiral. Creative Machines was a great fit we found for this project after having searched for who could possibly help us build such a thing. You guys turned out to be a super fit for this project and we were so delighted to see the energy and creativity that you were willing to put into it. What made me confident that Creative Machines was the right team for the job. Look at some of their prior work, some fantastic projects. The Wings Over the Water project was one of my favorites, but once we ended up hiring them and getting them in the door and started doing the due diligence, it was really the team that made me confident they were the right people for the job. Great mix of creatives, problem solvers, engineers, tradesmen. It's just a great all around team. It was a fantastic experience from day one all the way through uh, project completion. Uh, some of the most memorable comments from the public is it feels like two different experiences coming out during the day and then during the night. During the day, it's obviously beautiful, seeing the sun shimmer off the stainless steel blades. And then at night, when we turn the lights on and have all sorts of fun little light shows, it's a completely different experience. So that's one of the fun um, comments that I've gotten from fellow people that have come and visited the sculpture. Going through such an endeavor to make something that seems, you know, movable, that it's dynamic, that it's big and took a lot of engineering and creative problem solving and we were able to pull it off. And again, I think it wouldn't have happened actually if I wouldn't have found creative machines and that great group of people that you need to make something like this happen. It was a great experience.